Hello everyone, welcome to Friend and Fun. So today we are going to customize Bootstrap progress bars using JavaScript. Okay. So today I am going to create the My Skills section. So you might have come across this My Skills section. Uh, when you when you are on this section, the bars get filled up automatically. That is, the active element gets triggered, and these bars gets filled up as soon as you reach this section. Okay, so this is what we are going to create using bootstrap progress bars. Fine. So this is my index.html and this is my index.html, my style.css and my custom script file. So I have included the bootstrap min.css here and the jQuery and bootstrap bundle. Fine. So let's get started by writing a div with a class of container. And I'm going to create a row and call hyphen md hyphen 12. So inside this, I'm making use of a card element. So div with a class of card. And inside this, we'll be having a card body. And inside this body, h3 with a class of card hyphen title. And I'm going to write my skills here. Fine. So let me give some margin on top, so empty hyphen 5. Next let me give the card some background color, so bg hyphen dark. And let me change the text color to white by text hyphen white and I want the text to be uppercase, so text hyphen uppercase. Fine. Next, I'm going to create a div with a class of skill. So this is my custom class here, skill, and this contains the text here, HTML. So let me write the uppercase letters, and let me give a class of text hyphen white. And under this, we'll be having the progress bar. Dot progress, and inside this, we'll be having a progress hyphen bar, and the role is progress bar. So these are by default given in the Bootstrap. So what we are going to do is we'll add a custom attribute here that is data attribute data heaven progress is 80 percent okay so this is the value you can set on your own so based on this data progress value we are going to move the progress fine so if i save this right now you can see the progress bar so what i'll do is I'll switch to script file directly and inside this document dot ready function when we write window dot on scroll that is when we scroll the window and move to this section We'll just write a callback. So what I'm going to do is I'll target all the progress bars. Dot progress. Dot each. Function. Which takes two params that is index as well as the element. Okay. So first, what we need to do is we need to get the data hyphen progress value data hyphen progress value so for that I'm just creating a variable progress bar is equal to progress is the element dot find dot progress hyphen bar 
and for the percent P R O G R E S S progress percent then they using percent dollar progress per dot attr i'm just retrieving the attribute from data hyphen progress okay so i'll be having the percentage value of the element so if i mention 80 here i'll be having 80 fine so i'm just retrieving the integer value of the data attribute fine next what we need to do is if dollar window dot scroll top is greater than progress dot offset dot top that is we want to trigger the progress percentage only when we hit the element while scrolling okay so for that when we scroll we will be getting the scroll top value and the offset dot top gives us the top value where it is positioned okay so minus 400 you feel free to adjust this value so I'm, i want to trigger it even before it reaches the bar okay so what i'm going to do is i'll target the progress progress bar so that is we are targeting the inside element dot css will set the width to the percentage progress percent plus percentage and we want the text inside the progress element so i am using dot progress percent plus percent fine so uh, let me give the body some height so that we will we'll be able to scroll the element so if i scroll as you can see the percentage is increased so to give a smooth animation what we need to do is we'll target the progress and progress hyphen bar so i'm targeting the inner element that is the progress bar okay progress hyphen bar and initially we'll set the width to zero and apply transition on this element all is 0 0.5 seconds right now if i scroll as you can see we are having a smooth transition here fine so let me add some more progress bars here i'm just making a copy of this entire skill section and pasting it one more time let me change this to css and set the progress bar to 70 and we can customize this by using bg hyphen warning so which gives the yellow color fine so if i scroll as you can see the progress bar is increased with a smooth transition here fine so I'll just add few more skills here for the CSS, JavaScript, Angular, WordPress, and all. So BG hyphen info gives us the info bag info color background, and you can also write progress bar hyphen stripped and also the animated class to get the smooth stripped animation. So if I scroll here, as you can see, we are having a cool progress bar, which is triggered when we reach that section. And you can customize the percentage just by changing a value at HTML directly. 
fine so i have changed this to 40 percent right now it is 40 percent width fine so that's it hope you enjoyed this video please do watch other videos on my channel please share and subscribe i will provide the source for twentonfun.com you can find the link in description below we'll meet again in exciting tutorial take care